Okay, we have studied different uh, uh, shape of uh, uh, meta metallic cluster, metallic nano clusters. Um, we study for uh, we choose gold and <laughs> as uh, metals. So here uh, we have a gold cluster on top of a pristine nanotube, and um, there is a binding between the gold and the tube that is not so strong. The interaction between tube and uh, the carbon atoms making out the tube and the gold cluster is, uh, is quite weak, and there is a very little, almost negligible charge transfer between the two. On the other hand, when we put a cluster on top of a pristine nanotube, we see that the bond is quite strong, binding energies are higher, uh, there is a, the bond is as a covalent character, and there is a big fraction of electronic charge transfer from the cluster towards the tube. And this it will have a bigger impact on the electronic properties of the tubes, on the contactants of the tube. Uh, the last step of the work, it has been to add a molecule on, on top of these structures. So we tried both with uh, uh, NO2 and benzene. NO2 on gold, uh, it binds uh, as it shown here. In this case, um, we see that due to the presence of the NO2 on top of the gold cluster, there is a significant charge transfer towards the molecule. This is going to modify the resistance of the, of the full system and in this way it will be possible to detect the NO2. Gold works well with, um, with the NO2 but it doesn't work well with other uh, gases like benzene because the interaction between the gold atoms and the uh, carbon atoms and benzene is mostly made of it's, it's made up out of six carbon atoms and six hydrogen um, hence the bonding between uh, the benzene and the gold is going to be uh, not so strong and the interaction in turn result to be not so strong and hence we cannot detect benzene using a gold cluster. For this reason we moved to another metal, we tried with <laughs> as a stronger bond with carbon atoms. We, the idea was to add a cluster to detect uh, the benzene molecule shown here. Uh, indeed, the bond between the carbon atoms of the tube and the carbon atom of the benzene with the cluster is pretty strong. And hence, this system will be a stable one and will, it will be possible to detect uh, the molecule. Uh, so in this way we show how we uh, start studying um, first uh, single clusters, then cluster with the tube, and finally cluster on top of tube with the molecule. So we are reaching the final goal.